appropriate track technology for high-speed railways in India based on global experience. In this topic, I have tried to bring out that the world railways, the high-speed trains are running for last about 50 years. And more than 40,000 kilometers of high-speed railways are in the world, having experience of more than 50 years. Indian railways do not have an experience. I have suggested that based on global experience, we should work out. In this case, I have taken two main items of track technology. One is the track structure, which consists of rail, sleepers, fast rings, etc. So I have taken the values in various advanced countries like Japan, France, Germany, and other countries. What are the values of this track structure? And then try to find out what can be Indian railway stand, track standards will be there. One important issue in this case was whether track structure, it should be ballasted or non-ballasted. World, throughout the world, 90% of the track is being used as ballasted track, conventional ballasted track. Lately, ballasted track has also been used, but I have suggested that we should go ballasted track. Similarly, the other point is about track geometry. Track geometry means what curvature, radius, Kent gradient and so many other technical issues which affect the passenger comfort, share and safety both, passenger safety and comfort. Here also I have taken figures from various countries in the world like Japan, Germany, France and other countries and try to find out what is the system, what sort of track geometry they were following. For example, what distance from track to track, what is the radius, horizontal curves, what is the radius, vertical curves, what is super elevation, and value that, that the UIC, International Union of Railways, have also brought out these figures. And I have to work out that this should be track geometry. One more thing I can would like to describe, high-speed railway, the International Union of Railways has defined high-speed railway are those railways where in the dedicated corridor, which is specially meant for high speed only, the speed is about 250 kilometers. And other existing track, and if you upgrade it, the speed should be more than 200. In the end, I have suggested that we should go for upgradation of track by removing the obstacles, upgrading them, and there are so many issues in that, we should sort out that. It is, will be very less time-consuming eh, and very uh, cost-effective.